The difference between a million dollar shop and a $10 shop isn't the product you're selling, the designs on the product, or even the price of the product, but it's the website that the product listing is on. Now, obviously those things matter in getting sales, but after getting the product and design right, to begin with, the website and the context around the product are what determine how successful your shop is going to be. Today, I'm going to show you how to pick a website to sell your print-on-demand products on that can get you to the $10,000 per month mark, no matter where you are in the world or how much money you're starting out with or how big you want to scale your business to. There's a lot of different ways to do print-on-demand and they're definitely not created equal. Some methods can get you to well over $10,000 a month, while others are a huge waste of time and you probably won't make anything. So today I'm giving you the four websites to sell your print-on-demand products on so that you can get to $10,000 a month, no matter where you are in the world or how much money you're starting out with. Now, there's a big difference between the all-in-one and the traditional print-on-demand business models. The all-in-one print-on-demand business model is where the platform that you upload your designs to handles absolutely everything. You work with a platform like Redbubble, Teespring, or Amazon FBA, and all you have to do is upload your product designs to the products you want to sell them on and let the platform do the rest. They handle the marketing, they drive traffic to the site, and then they'll decide when to promote your products. So if one of those products happens to sell, they'll print the design on the product and ship it right to the customer. They'll also handle everything like customer service, returns, exchanges, and refunds. This makes your job super easy because you literally only have to make and upload product designs. You don't have to worry about anything else except not getting any sales. The reality is that with this type of all-in-one platform, you're never going to make big money. You'll probably cap out at around $2,000 a month if you really stick with it and upload thousands of product designs. Back in the day, even before Redbubble was super competitive, I uploaded hundreds of product designs and I only ever made a few cents on the account. That's because these platforms, minus Amazon, don't generate enough traffic to run a profitable business. Not to mention that these platforms will literally own your business. All-in-one print-on-demand is not it. So that's why I recommend traditional print-on-demand where all the money is being made. This is where you work with a print provider, like Printify. Now, instead of Printify handling absolutely everything, they just handle printing your designs on the product that the customer ordered, only when they order it, and then shipping it to the customer. You simply have to upload your designs to the product that you want to sell, and then you can publish those products directly to the website that you want to sell them on. It's your job to get the product to sell, and then once you do, Printify will print and ship the product directly to the customer. This unlocks the ability to control the marketing for your product so that you can actually get seen by interested customers and it unlocks the ability to sell the same products on multiple websites. These are also called sales channels. This is really cool because after you've created your product once, you can publish them to as many sales channels as you'd like. Picking the right supplier and sales channel combination is key if you wanna reach $10,000 a month. Most suppliers like Printify, Printful, and Gelato have fairly similar quality when it comes to the print of the product. And more importantly, your customer is not gonna be able to tell who's printing the product and where it's shipped from. So if quality is roughly the same across the board, then we have to look at other aspects to pick the best one, such as the fulfillment network, pricing, and shipping speed. I'll skip the detail breakdown and just make it simple for you. Printify has the best global fulfillment network, so you can get your products printed and shipped automatically no matter where you're selling in the world. And because of that, they have some of the best shipping times in the print-on-demand game. And on top of that, they're also the most cost-effective choice. You can see how using Printify versus the other popular options will save you money today and once you're making tens of thousands of sales. You can use Printify completely for free to start out. And then once you start making consistent sales, you can upgrade to save 20% on each order, which means you'll be making even more profit. If you sign up using my link from down below, you can also try out Printify Premium for two months free of charge, which is worth like 60 bucks. I've used Printify for years now, and after making tens of thousands of print-on-demand sales, switching to them has made me tens of thousands of extra dollars. They also offer express delivery on certain items, which means that your products can be delivered within three days for just a few extra dollars. So I use Printify because of the pricing and shipping benefits, but Printify also allows you to connect to the sales channels that can actually get you to reach $10,000 a month. As I mentioned earlier, not every sales channel is created equal and picking the right one is crucial. Once you've picked the print provider, the second decision is deciding which sales channels you'll use. Now I'm going to give you the four best sales channels that you can sell on, ranked from easiest and cheapest to hardest and most expensive. But keep in mind that all four of these channels work, so you really need to master one before giving up and trying another. The first is obviously Etsy. With over 400 million monthly customers, 
only a $15 one-time startup fee, the ability to post unlimited listings for just 20 cents each. It's really hard to find a better platform for beginners to start out on. The really cool thing about Etsy is that you can see what other sellers are doing and learn from their successes and their mistakes because all of the sales data and reviews are public. This means that you can find shops doing print on demand, study what they're doing right, and then look for areas to improve and build your own shop on top of what you know already works. This is why when your favorite YouTuber won't share their shop with you, it's because they don't need tens of thousands of people going to copy their ideas. There's hundreds of other shops that are all making seven figures plus per year that you can go get ideas from. You can also use third-party tools like the one that I'm working on called Listing View to take a deep dive into shop stats to see how much estimated revenue and other things that they're making over time. Etsy can definitely make you three to $5,000 of profit on the side and all the way up to over $20,000 if you're really dedicated and stick with it long enough. This has been proven time and time again with print-on-demand shops selling all kinds of unique products with both handmade and AI designs on them. Not to mention that when you're selling on Etsy, you're leveraging their brand, which they've been building up for the last 20 years. People trust their marketplace, so they're more likely to spend money on your products. The biggest downside to Etsy is that some people in certain locations around the world just can't open up a shop. But don't worry, there's more options for you as well. The next best option you have if you're a beginner is a newer sales channel, TikTok. Now hear me out, I'm not saying that you have to go create a bunch of TikTok videos or anything like that, but Printify allows you to directly integrate into a TikTok shop. This is a somewhat new marketplace right inside of the TikTok app where people can shop for products just like they do on Amazon or Etsy. Just TikTok shop generated over $11 billion for TikTok last year, which means between the 500,000 sellers, obviously some made a lot more or a lot less than others, but that averages out to around $22,000 a year for each seller. Plus, TikTok Shop is only available in the mobile app right now, which means all of the revenue comes from TikTok mobile users. There's no desktop or web features for people who want to shop on their computer. The cool part about this is just like with Etsy, you can rank your products inside the TikTok Shop algorithm without having to make or post any content to your account. When customers come looking for the type of product that you've posted for sale, yours can get recommended and pushed out to the customer. And if they buy it, it's fulfilled the exact same way through Printify, keeping it really nice and passive as you scale. Of course, if you make video content about the products you're selling, you'll definitely make more sales. But the fact that this is currently running as an independent marketplace is really cool. Almost all of the new print-on-demand sellers go straight to Etsy or Shopify, which means this is probably the least competitive marketplace that you can sell on right now. And this can be done completely for free. Right now, there's no startup costs and they only charge you a small fee on top of each order that you make. So it's kind of pay as you go. Now, to be clear, this is not how I run my shops since this is a much newer marketplace. It just wasn't around when I got started. But if you're interested in hearing more about this, then let me know in a comment and maybe we'll do a TikTok shop challenge. I've already seen a bunch of shops hopping on trends and selling print on demand products, making crazy money. So while I can't say that this is the absolute easiest, with the low competition and the zero startup costs, and considering TikTok really wants this marketplace to work, I'd say that this is a great option for beginners. The downsides to this model is that it is new and it hasn't been tested as much. And since TikTok is competing with Amazon, they do have much stricter return and customer service policies compared to something like Etsy. But new adopters always tend to make the most amount of money. That being said, if you do have a little bit more money and you're not as worried about competition, the next best place to sell is on Amazon. Not to be confused with the all-in-one business Merch by Amazon, you can create an Amazon seller account just like you would on Etsy and connect your Printify account to use their integration. This is one of the more expensive marketplaces costing around $40 a month, but they're also the biggest, driving not hundreds of millions, but billions of shoppers to their site each and every month. It's more expensive and more competitive, but there's a much larger audience coming to shop for these products. Even though print-on-demand products typically fit the Etsy shopper profile a little bit better, Amazon has such a vast reach that it can still be profitable to run a business even with all the competition. I've dabbled a little here and there with Amazon, but again, most of my millions have come from other sales channels. The reason that it's number three on the list is because if you're able to learn what types of print-on-demand products sell and what kind of designs you're good at making and marketing, Amazon's reach is unmatched and there's no other marketplace that's as big as Amazon. The most successful shops on Amazon always pay to run search ads to their products, 
pushing their products to the top of search results, which means that on top of the $40 per month, you'll also need to run ads. You can get your products to rank organically like they can on Etsy, but since there is a lot more competition, paying for ads is likely the only way you're gonna make a sustainable business out of Amazon. Just like with Etsy, people trust Amazon, except that Amazon is a lot more strict with their policies for sellers. So they'll usually force you to accept returns or exchanges if you want your products to rank well in search. Point being, as long as you have the budget to climb the ranks and you don't become one of the many shops that get lost in the abyss, then you could be one of the thousands of sellers who's printing money every single day. Now, eventually every shop owner should expand their business onto platform number four, which is Shopify. Not only does Shopify essentially allow you to own your business more than you can on marketplaces, but you have infinite scaling potential. And it can be done literally from anywhere in the world, no matter what country you're from. The downside is after you've used my $1 per month coupon code, Shopify is gonna cost you around $40 a month, which is the same as Amazon, except you get basically no free traffic to your site whatsoever. On Shopify, you have to do all the marketing yourself. You have to get users who are browsing the web or social media to click over to your website and then build enough trust with them to get them comfortable enough to buy your products. Something that's much easier to do when you built your shop on the back of Etsy or Amazon. Basically, Shopify takes all the training wheels off and it becomes a business in its truest form. If you start out on Etsy or TikTok, learn how to market and how to make designs that sell that customers really love, then expanding to Shopify with those skills will make you even more money. I know from experience that it's really difficult to start out with Shopify with no previous skill and without proving that the products you're trying to sell will actually sell. There's also not as many tools or ways to see how other sellers are succeeding like you can on Etsy. It's nearly impossible to see how well other Shopify stores are performing, while on Etsy, you can see their exact sales numbers. You just don't know what's working and who to model your business after. On Etsy, you can validate your ideas and tell what's working right now today, but on Shopify, you just can't do that. In my opinion, the best strategy is to start on one platform like Etsy or TikTok, and then work your way up the ranks and eventually scale onto Shopify where you can keep growing your business after you know what products you're already good at selling. If you stick with these four platforms, you're in the right spot to make at least $10,000 a month. So don't waste your time with strategies and platforms that just don't work.